na nawagan ang kandidato ng Miss Universe Philippines 2021 na si Steffi Rose Aberastori. Nang Cebu City sa mga tagahanga ng pageant na ihinto ang mapanirang paghiwalay at palagoy ng pagkakaisa at pagkakaisa para sa isang mas mahusay na sansinuko. Ginawa ni Steffi ang reaksyon matapos na ang ilang mga netizens ay inangkin na siya ay isang taga-suporta ni Pangulong Duterte sa isang runway speed sa bagong konstruksyon na si Silex sa Cebu City. Hindi pinanghihan ni Amini ng Beauty Queen sa Cebu ang mga paghahabol ng ilang pageant fanatics. Sa halip, piniling ni Steffi sa publiko na ihinto ang paghiwalay sa politika. Ang relihiyon, kasarian, lahi, o kahit ang ating paninindigan sa politika, ay hindi dapat paghatiin sa atin. Ngayon na ang oras upang itabi ang ating mga pagkakaiba, makipag-usap, at magkulungan bilang isa. Sa pagtatapos ng araw, lahat tayo ay may isang layunin pa rin upang mabuhay sa isang mas mahusay na universo, sabi ni Steffi sa Instagram. I am still over the moon, with everyone's feedback. It means the world to me that you appreciate all the creative effort, time, and passion that my team and I poured into this. This post is for those behind the scenes that deserve as much, if not more, credit for piecing together a collective vision for you all to see. I am blessed and grateful that with the help of that staff as model management, I was able to form a team of some of Cebu's most talented young creatives, sleepless and in heavy protective gear. We trekked to our breathtaking venue at 3 a.m. to try to catch a sunrise, but unfortunately, due to the sheer size of what will soon be the Philippines' longest bridge, we just missed it. Despite breaking a heel, literally, and the windy weather that made an already difficult shoot more challenging, we pushed through together. Everyone's commitment and drive, along with my stylist being prepped for even a broken heel, pushed me to give my very best. Beyond the creativity and passion, what makes me most proud of my team is not only how we freely voice our opinions, but that we also listen and respect each other regardless of our differences. It's dialogue and humility that make the dream truly work. That dream is formed from all of our backgrounds coming together. Religion, gender, race, or even our political stance shouldn't divide us. Now is the time to set aside our differences, communicate, and work together as one. At the end of the day, we all have one goal, anyway, to live in a better universe.